Hi guys, this is Static Dark. Welcome back to another gameplay. This is going to be the first of our campfire series, and what that is is just when we have some gameplay and we talk over uh, we talk over, but on a specific topic. It could be one or more of us at a time, but. For this first one, it's just going to be me, and the topic I have in mind are YouTubers. Now, as you can see, by virtue of, you know, this video being on YouTube, whoop, that I'm trying to be one of them. Now, whoop, The thing that I want to talk about is how genuine are YouTubers? And by that, I mean, I've watched several of them. If you've watched any of these videos, you've heard me reference Scooter Magruder a number of times. As my main motivation for A, picking this game to play, and actually trying to do YouTube. <laughs> and for me, I watch his videos and several other people's videos and all YouTubers seem to be extremely like extremely um expressive and responsive like they're all screaming ah, 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 ah. and that to me that is disingenuous to how i play games i mean every now and then something exciting happens you yell you know you're like oh my goodness oh whoa I like that right there but in general, I talk like this. I mean, even in Call of Duty, when you see me and B Crusher playing together, we scream or get agitated when somebody kills us out of nowhere or we think we should have won a gun battle. We might do some loud yelling then, but it's not every second of the gameplay. And that leads me to ask the question, is that how you get famous doing this? Is that how you get your name out there, your brand out there, you just have these over-the-top reactions to everything. I don't get me wrong, I love Squid McGruder. I actually started following him because of um, his cowboy takes some cowboy fan, if you didn't know. And his, um, after every game, he does a reacts like cowboy fan react to this game or NFL fans react to the offseason or, you know, something like that. And while I was watching those, he said it once. He said in one of them, like, um, check out my scooter gaming. And that's how I ran into his gameplay with this and Rocket League and some of his other gameplay playthroughs. Then, if, I don't know, if my other fandoms made it into any of the other videos I've made, but I also like kind of funny. It's um, the company that Greg Miller formed with Colin Moriarty after they left IGN. I mean, they also had um, Sam Geddes and Nick Scarpino, but they were the two faces, if you will. And now they've expanded and the team's changed and all this. But one of the guys they have hosting their um, gameplay is a guy named Snowbike Mike. Now, I don't know where they found him at. Uh, he could have been from some of anywhere, because it's kind of funny. We have a nice community. Wait, why am I blind? Why can't I see her? Ow. Anyway. Nobody might. He has what I refer to as like a 90s wrestler announcer's voice. That's, what he, that's how he talks. Like if you watch any of their content, 
on uh, Kind of Funny Plays, which I do suggest you check out because it is very entertaining. And they, um, <laughs> they introduced me to a lot of games that I probably would have never seen otherwise. But, whoop, his cadence and his shoot, overall excitement, like his normal speaking when they're doing the show, is always like he's just seen the most hyped thing ever. And that's what um, Greg Lewis calls him, like the something of hype, like the ambassador of hype or the most hype, Snowbike like Mike or something like that. Anyway. And this is just how he talks, and I can't listen to that, like, constantly. Wait a minute, are y'all friends? Anyway, and I watch other YouTubers, and that's how they react to stuff, like, um, uh, QJB. I watch his, um, unpacking videos and some of his, uh, mad videos and stuff like that. And he open packs for NBA Live and things like that. And, and he's, um, when he sings about those packs, like, the, uh, 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 pack at him, he gets back at like he's over the top, which is fine. I mean, everybody can do however they want to do. But I'm wondering, is that how you get big? Like, is that how you get a name? Is that how you get a following? And is that really all it takes? And moreover, like, are these people actually like this? Or do they do it to get the following? You know what I mean? Because I'm, um, I mean, I want to actually make a little bit of money from this. It's not my primary job, but I don't actually care if I ever make money. It's just something that me and B Crusher talked about doing years ago. And now that we've moved farther away from each other, it's one of the ways we keep in contact is playing video games. And if we can get some extra money playing, just posting these videos, I mean, why not? But if it takes the over the topness I don't know if he and I have the personality to ever do that and if that and if y'all know of somebody that has made it without being all over the top and well not I love to get some information on different ways we can do this thing hey Athena huh what if you play Borderlands Please don't come this way, please don't come this way. But I always try to learn and incorporate from people that know more than me. What? Where is the hunches? Anyway, but that's what I want to talk about in this first one. Like I know we don't have a following yet, but maybe. When people start watching these and we can get the following, somebody can give me an answer because I'm very curious about this. Dang it! Is she trying to kill me? We're gonna do this again. Dang it, every time. <laughs> but that is as excited as you will see me get. Is this person trying to let us win? I honestly can't tell. <sighs> I mean, I watch other non video game YouTubers like this. Um, a guy that I follow called the History of Legend. He's not an entertainer per se. Like he make content about um the Bible and mythologies and things of that nature.
And he just... He talks like a teacher. You know what I mean? So he doesn't have to do the... Hey, what I'm talking about is so exciting and important to me. You know what I mean? Your stupid heartbeat. <sighs> I just want to know if a nice, even-keeled voice person can actually make it, you know? And dealing with B-Crusher, I try, well, we've tried to um, cut back on the cursing because... I mean, that's a lot for some people. Like I used to watch a dude that I'm not going to call his name and give any more notoriety to him, but I talked to a guy that used to be an Eagles fan and it was a YouTuber. And he cursed so much that it just turned me off. And as you've heard from my videos, I have no problem cursing. He just went over and above. And I don't want to do that. And Well, since I found it, I know I got assume that others might as well. I don't want to just cut off somebody that might support us if we didn't do that, you know. But anyway, just looking for advice on how to make this YouTube thing work. It's everybody says you need to have multiple streams of income nowadays, and I'm trying to make this a second stream of income. As a matter of fact, this isn't gonna even be my primary second stream of income if I have my way. Whoop. If I have my way, it'll be my third stream of income. Because I also want to be a author. I want to write. I've started writing a book and life's gotten away so I kind of pushed it off a little bit I'm in the process of getting everything back situated so I can go back to focusing on it so that's gonna be my secondary source if I ever get it up and running this would be my third if we ever get anything from it so I'm not in any rush like I'm not impatient when it comes to this but I just want to know if you can make it be doing this um, video game version without being like a character. Now I want to shine. No, I'll just leave. And I'll come back again later because I'm out on this topic and I don't want to have like a 13 minute video with me talking for 6 minutes and 7 minutes of silence. But that is what I want to talk about and get this out. Anyway, this is going to be the first one. Later on, I'm going to have them written down so I don't stumble and mumble as much through it. But this is the general gist of how it's going to go. And sometimes Big Crush will be in and when he gets his thing situated, then sometimes he'll just post one up of whatever's on his mind. But let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and these playthroughs will only be one gameplay as opposed to the two I've been doing, because I don't want to have two disparate topics on one video. Anyway, it just makes more sense to me to do it that way. Thanks, guys. Oh, I almost walked the wrong way. Stupid.